turn to the folks from John Deere and John Chesterman with us. How are you? Very good, Roger. Here. Yep, it's been a whole year. Things well? Very well. Well, what sort of a new equipment is John Deere got out there this week? Well, I'm here to talk to you about our launch of our 644K hybrid electric uh, wheel hybrid. loader. Hybrid. Magic yes. word. Yep. Hybrid. Yep. Is that the first piece of hybrid that you've had out here in that line? This will be the first uh, hybrid going to production, so okay. for a construction size wheel loader. Um, that had to be a challenge. Yes, it has been a challenge. Uh, this machine, of course, uses uh, a diesel engine, but it also has an electric drivetrain. Okay, talk, let's, let's talk a little bit about that. 644. Is that, are we talking about the uh, electric propulsion? Or are we talking about the overall power? Uh, we're talking about the electric propulsion. So we do make the machine in a conventional drive today uh, with a power shift torque converter transmission. But we're coming to market with a hybrid electric drive, which allows us to do several things. Uh, first and foremost, of course, it has lower fuel consumption. For the Absolutely. average fuel co customer, they're going to experience 25%. But in some key operations, such as V-pattern truck loading, if they're very focused on that, they can actually achieve better. But there's two things that are very important, is usually when someone says hybrid, we think of a compromise between fuel efficiency and performance. Sure. And usually the performance goes down with the efficiency going up. Absolutely. It's a very fine line to balance, is it not? Yeah. With this machine, there is no compromise. Um, using the electric drive, the machine actually is very easy to operate, especially for novice operators, as well as very experienced operators. And that, you know, we run the engine at a constant engine speed, so we're not tying the pushing power of the machine to the engine. So it's very easy to load the bucket. The other thing is, is that constant engine speed, of course, makes the engine last longer. It gives the hydraulics very quick and fast response. So it's actually for, I'll call it novice operators, they can be very, very productive, by, and they may have not mastered the uh, operational skills that a, a conventional loader requires. Now I take it as a hybrid, this is a self-regenerating propulsion system? Yeah, we, uh, this machine is somewhat slowing, so let's say in a typical V pattern, normally that energy would be going into the service brakes. In this machine, we recapture some of that energy with the uh, electric motor, which actually puts electrical energy back into the system, and that can be used for the hydraulics or other things to gain, to, to reduce fuel consumption. Well, it's got to be interesting because there's so many things now, and of course, the, probably the biggest uh, impact of your industry has been tier four and that meets it on, does it not? Yes, yes. It, uh, running the engine at constant engine speed, I mean, this machine, of course, is, meets the highest emissions level today, very low noise level. So, I mean, it has a sustainability impact for the customer for fuel, of course, the interim tier four emissions, C lower CO2 emissions with reduced fuel consumption, and reduced noise emissions. Is this, is this a uh, capability that you will adapt into other pieces of equipment as you go along at, at Deere? Uh, we look at each uh, machine form and the appropriate technology. Right. Of course, we're working on our large 944. Where we are using a hybrid electric drive for that machine. So yeah, we'll, we do apply it where it's appropriate. Excellent. Amazing what's happening in the industry today, yeah. isn't it? John yep. Chesterman, always a pleasure to see you. I hope you have a really good show. Yep. Where's your booth located at in the show? Our booth is located in the Central Hall, just down down the way from here. Okay, great. I see it. You can't beat it. Miss it. John Deere at the World of Concrete 2013.